and welcome back to the channel last video was about the php loops and we discussed the four types of loop while to while and for each loop and for loop so today we are discussing about the break and continue statements in the loop why we are using so if we if i talk about the php break statements we have already seen the break statements used uh, in earlier earlier videos when we talking about the switch statements and we discussed very briefly that uh, actually break statement uh, is actually using to jump out okay from a particular statement okay like uh, in our switch statement we have the various types of the statements and if we want to uh, jump out from one statement to another statement we use the break so same concept of break we use in the loops this break statement can be used to jump out from a loop so let's start doing in the code that how we do we need to declare the php variable uh, php sorry syntax so once we define this here i am using the for loop in for loop i need to give the condition i am initializing with zero and going up to six and this increments here so here I'm giving the condition if the condition matches, if this dollar i matches with three let's say it matches with the three then break then stop it here okay then do not move next break okay and if it doesn't match where you go you need to execute the else part and in else part you need to display the echo numbers so you need to display this one and here i am using the break okay. so now let's run first thing in the browser and we'll see what will happen in my browser i need to go back in my uh, browser yes i need here and i'm refreshing the page so it syncs numbers are but it doesn't display the number need to be checked why okay i think i forgot to print out yes i forgot to print out the variable so here once i did this one now need to go back and see yes numbers are zero one and two okay and it stops here it never uh, it is not going ahead let's see why because i assigned the condition here if it is equals to the three let's say i initialize with the loop with the zero and i said when it reaches to the third one so break okay do not execute the loop okay as the condition matches here it starts from zero it runs the one it runs the two so these zero one and two run successfully so when this loops actually checks the condition number three so actually now we assigned in the if condition that if it is equals to the three break do not go do not execute this loop okay and in else if this condition is false then what you need to do just print out the numbers okay the numbers okay <clears throat> so this is how your break statement works so break statements actually jumps out from a particular statement same like we have the php continue statement okay cont continue statements uh, breaks one iteration in the loop okay if a specified condition occurs and continues with the next iteration in the loop okay we use the continue statement so continue means let's say i assign the condition that a dollar i equal equals to three if it matches this condition i'm saying do not stop it with the loop just continue and i'm using this syntax continue so once i did this continue now let's see how many numbers will print on the screen or in my browser so as you see five numbers is displaying in my browser actually six including zero uh, three is not printing sorry why three is not printing because i said on three this three one this three will not print continue okay just left the three one okay when the condition reaches on the three one just ignore this three rest of all will print so it will start from the zero one two neglect the three four five and six okay so this is how continue statement works let's say i'm giving the condition here that ignore the seven one uh, sorry seven is not present ignore the 
uh, second one and print rest of the all so let's see as i need to zoom it here for you guys yes as you see numbers are from 0 1 3 4 5 it doesn't display the two and the reason because i uh, i use the continue here that leave this two leave this two part leave this uh, if condition okay whatever we declared in this if part just leave as it is continue execute the rest of the variables so it will actually stop displaying the number two okay it actually check it just check is the condition zero okay condition is true okay condition is true so it will display zero same like the condition one it is two it will display zero one now when it checks the condition number two it says that continue so it will neglect this two and moving to the third one then fourth one then fifth one so this is how your php uh, this break and continue statement works same like these statement works in the while loop in the do while okay and in other loops as well so let's talk about some php functions today the real power of php if i talk about comes from its function and php has more than 1000 built-in functions and in addition you can create your own custom functions as well so let's checking the user defined functions in php uh, basically what is a function first we need to explain a function is when we're talking about is a block of statements okay that can be used rapidly in a program okay if we want to display the thing several times we want to run over and over or let's say we have created a function for the addition and if we want to use that addition function again and again in our code so instead of uh, writing every time function we where we make the function and call it again and again when we uh, use okay so a function will not a function will not execute automatically okay when a page will load we need to call it so there are some rules for the functions ones that the function must uh, must start with a letter or an underscore function names are not case sensitive in php so let's start doing a simple function in the php so here i need a creating a simple function so function syntax is here here you need to give the function name let's say i'm not changing or let me change my code okay so once i need this i'm using removing all the arguments from here because we are just learning a simple function when simple function what i need to display i'm displaying so hello so hello i use here now i'm calling the function below let's see will it display something for me or not my code yes i call this function now let's see in the browser what will happen yeah hello is calling so this is how this this function calling is what same like you can use other terms as well to that change so you will see in the browser as well <coughs> so this is how your functions works or in functions works in the php you need to define the function and give the function name and inside the function whatever you want to execute just write and outside the function just call that function which you have created to see the z same like we have php function arguments you can pass the arguments as well arguments means information can be passed to function through arguments and arguments is just like a variables okay which store information and arguments are specified after the function name inside the parentheses as in syntax you have seen well so you can add as many arguments uh, you want just separate them with a comma so let's start using this one let's see here i have created a successfully function now i am just passing an argument let's say i am passing uh, the name let's say i'm passing these arguments as name and echo i am saying that the name let's say first name i am writing okay this is let's suppose the argument which i am passing is for the second name and first thing okay here i need to give that name 
and here I need to give a break for this command square. So what I need to give, I did what I just pass the argument for the first uh, for the last name. I'll choose, I'm taking this L name. Okay, the last name I am passing as argument and first name I printed already in the function and I called it here. So once I called it here, now what I need to do we need to actually if i'm not going off just that's fine so once i did here one now i'm calling the function uh calling this function so let's say i'm i'm passing the last name now for that was let's say i'm passing this first name this is actually the uh, last name i am passing okay which i this variable for this one the argument which i use in the function okay that for this one i'm passing the values my code again and I, this time second function i am uh, sorry second name i am giving to let's say okay this second name i assigned here now let's see in the browser that what will display into my browser um, undefined variable dollar name uh, why it is saying the unname uh, sorry this is not the name only this is L name last name okay so I forgot it here now hope so it will work yes now as, as you see these both name is displaying on the screen as I considered Muhammad, okay, this is I displayed inside the function, and this Umar and Ahmed I passed as an argument in the function. As you see, in la the last name I passed in the function, and here one I gave the values for this function, and this is actually displaying the argument. So this is like the arguments which is just like behaving a variable. So same, you can you can pass the arguments as well and php is a loose the type language okay in uh, the code uh, which i did we noticed that uh, i didn't tell the php that which data type the variable is okay php automatically actually associates the data type to the variable depending on the values as i didn't assign here that it is a string or this is an integer nothing it automatically associates the data type on the variable depending on its value since we know the data types are not set to be strict sense okay so you can uh, do things like adding a string to an integer without causing an error but in later php 7 type declarations were added and this gives us uh, the option to specify the expected um, expected data types when declaring a function and by adding the strict declaration okay so once we need to define the strict declaration, it will actually throw a fatal error that if the data type mismatch, okay? And we will uh, do this example later in the next video that how this strict uh, type declaration we declare in the PHP and what type of error we will face. So guys, hope so today's video uh, you like, okay? Today we went over to and we discussed about the PHP continue and the break statements and we went over to the functions passing the arguments as a simple function we went over and how you pass the argument. So 